Welcome to Facts, episode two. Today we have special guest Matt Lamon joining us. We're gonna take a look at these towers that are popping up seemingly everywhere. We're gonna go into the official rollout spot in Tucson, Arizona. We're gonna take an acoustometer. We're gonna take readings of these towers and compare them to the guidelines. Then we're gonna take a look at a statistical report about what's happening to the people that are putting these towers up. Stay tuned for some facts. Hi, I'm Matt Landman. I came down to Tucson, Arizona to host the third annual summit to stop geoengineering. So generally speaking, when we talk about 4G cell phones or televisions or any frequency, there are these big waves that are the size of a person and they don't interact with our organs or split up our DNA or bifurcate cells or anything like that. But this technology is on a microwave spectrum. It's the exact same technology used as the, that the military uses in the active denial system, ADS, except for it's tweaked to be a little smaller or a little bigger than one millimeter to burn skin. Microwave radiation doesn't burn skin, but it does heat up your organs. It's small enough to impact small things inside your body, including cells. It bifurcates, meaning it splits up cells. The same exact technology is used at the TSA. They're scanning your body with one millimeter waves. So being in Tucson, Arizona is like being in a body scanner at an airport 24 seven. So if you're electromagnetic sensitive, you don't want to have anything, any environment that's over 0.5 volts per meter. The general standard for human health, you don't want to be in an environment over three. That's what we found out when we looked up the United States standards. Of course, it's different in other countries. It's a lot lower. The standards are a lot lower in a lot of countries, especially in Europe. So we're gonna test the amount of EMF radiation. Here's the meter. Five volts per meter of constant EMF radiation that we're being exposed to. Mind you, if you have electromagnetic sensitivity, 0.5 is your limit. In the United States, the safety limits are around three volts per meter. Okay. If you have electromagnetic sensitivity, you can't be in an environment of over 0.5 volts per meter. Here we're measuring 5 volts per meter, nearly double the standard of health limitations and 10 times the limit of electromagnetic sensitivity for people. And a lot of people are developing this sensitivity nowadays with all the EMF radiation we're experiencing. This is not even close to what it would be inside those apartment buildings. There's a study that's really important. There's a statistical anomaly at hand where these cell phone tower workers have a statistically high suicide rate. These invisible microwaves, what they do when they're blasting your head and your heart 24 seven, is your brain thinks you're getting hit with bright light all the time. Even though it's invisible, it's the same frequency bandwidth that light resonates on. Usually we should have this ebb and flow of light and dark when the sun's up and sun down and we that's how our circadian rhythm develops that rhythm is how your body functions and your brain creates serotonin and melatonin so if our brains are tricked into thinking that they're always in bright light because of the waves that are hitting it that are invisible then your brain doesn't produce the chemicals that it normally would such as melatonin serotonin and then you become depressed so consider the effects of EMF radiations not just on your heart and on your children, but on your brain as well. See, you have to think about us as beings of frequency. Start studying Nikola Tesla and realize that everything is frequency, okay? And when you realize that your heart emits a frequency, Okay? and your brain emits a frequency, and even your organs emit a frequency, and all these frequencies together, they harmonize, and you have a frequency that's being emitted. And then you interrupt it with something like a fake palm tree that emits microwave frequencies that are in that same realm that you interact in, your entire everything is being disrupted. Your heart can have issues, heart murmurs, and heart palpitations, your brain can get messed up, everything can get out of line. But you, get, you have a solution. You can get EMF protective gear. You can unplug your Wi-Fi at night. You can put your phone on airplane mode when you can. You can also connect to the Schumann's resonance of the earth. Getting back to that Schumann resonance is your way to get grounded and to protect yourself from these alterations from all these EMF fields and these microwave radiations that would otherwise be harmful to you. You're just flowing on that <laughs> on that truth vibe, bro. I appreciate it. I love it. I love it. What's that? Facts? <laughs>